This is the saw I'm using. It's a 16 inch Craftsman. I think the model number is 34116. Uh, it's about, about a $75 saw. Uh, three and a half horsepower. It has it has a tool list to adjust for the chain, and the chain is automatic oiling. Um, comes with an extra chain, and weighs about 12 pounds according to the according to the Sears website. Cost is about $75. One of the disadvantages really difficult to see the oil to the window. It's not even really clear. So for another disadvantage, the oiler, the small disadvantage, the oiler is on the side, which means you have to prop it up on its side to fill it. I don't know why they didn't put it on the top. Um, I think it's, they went with the metal teeth on here compared to the old one which had little plastic nubs so I think that probably helps. Um, I'm going to try to show the the brake stops the chain immediately when you let off the trigger and overall I'm very happy with it. What I'm going to show now is just how the brake as soon as you let off you have to push the side button as soon as you let off the trigger it stops the brake. So one more thing I wanted to say about this saw versus the uh, Craftsman I think has an 18 inch that's four or four and a half horsepower. Uh, probably should think about what kind of cord you're going to use because the the higher you get with the horsepower, the bigger cord you need, and they actually recommend not even using a hundred foot cord at all for the higher for the four four and a half horsepower. I think they recommend using a 14 gauge for 50 foot of cord and 12 gauge for 100 feet of cord, but if you go to the 18 inch saw, they give you a recommendation for the they give you a recommendation for the 50 foot cord, but they say don't even use 100 foot cord. So that that might be a part of the reason that I got the the smaller horsepower. If you're trying to decide based on that horsepower and the cord usage, you can check out the owner's manuals. You can find them online, and it'll tell you, it'll give you a little table there with what, what gauge to use at how many feet. So, hope that helps. Another reason you might want to consider an electric versus a gas chainsaw, um, 
is that if you don't use a gas chainsaw very often, there's more of an issue with starting it, whereas this can sit in the garage for two years till a tree falls in your yard, and you can use this to chop it up. You just plug it in and it's ready to go.